Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to show you how to make a one-page website using Bloxy. Whether it's a personal CV or portfolio type site or an event page for a wedding or a birthday or something, we've got you covered. Okay, so let's head over to our dashboard over here, hover over Bloxy and click on Dashboard, and it should take us to our Bloxy dashboard and make sure to click on Starter Sites. Now, other themes might have um, a starter site or demo content already labeled or pre-formatted as one page. But as you can see, Bloxy doesn't, and that isn't a problem. First off, you can select a category that you want your site to fit in. Um, and it doesn't matter if it's for free or pro. We can just choose any of these and convert it into a one-page website. And it's real easy with Bloxy. Let's preview this one. Um, Beaver, Beaver. I don't know how to pronounce that. This looks like a portfolio site, and we can work with this. Now we can go ahead and click on Import, and we're just going to use Gutenberg, the stock one. Make sure all of these are checked, all of these as well, and click on Install. Let's wait for this to load, and we'll get back to you. All right. Once it's done, we can refresh our site. Hit Refresh, and see that we have a brand new theme. Okay, and we still have a hook here that's left over from some previous projects, and we can go ahead and disable that in a, in a while. But we have um, an example portfolio here. So we have um, this main area, which is our like hero, you know, that should be us. And then that's our um, project right there. Um, our experience over here, which we can edit. Or just remove we have our projects here and you can click on these if you if you set it up to do it and then we have our portfolio here we have services and a bunch of other things so we can go ahead and customize this to make it more responsive and uh, more suited as a one page site because if you click on here it will be taken to other parts of the site and again the purpose of a one page site is Everything's going to be in one page. All you have to do is scroll down or click on some elements and see where that takes us to the same page. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on Customize. And the first thing we want to do is customize our site identity. So over here, site identity, website assets, there we go. And we're going to add in our own logo, which is this. Okay, you can crop it and just keep it as is. And it should save up and appear on our site. Next, we're gonna go ahead and click on header and the logo, we'll, we'll just change that up to one of ours again. Okay, perfect. And let me get a bit bigger. There we go, website assets. We'll turn on our, our title and our tagline. Or maybe, maybe not that, maybe this, yeah, that seems about where we want to put it. Okay, and then our menu, we'll just delete that, and we'll have our socials right smack dab in the middle. Oops, smack dab in the middle, and we'll just refresh our side right here. And okay, we were able to re remove this in our content blocks over there, but it's a separate one. And everything else is going to be customized in our... Oh, there we go. We have our footer over here. Let's go ahead and click on Edit Footer. And we can remove our footer menu. And you can keep our socials up over here. And then just remove this widget area. And we have posts. And we can... Our trending posts, we can edit the conditions. Um, and just remove it all together and just refresh our site to write real quick and that might take us to a different page but okay here we're on the same page okay and everything is gone great oops now what else can we customize here we can customize our general options um our layout for the site, we don't have to worry about that. We can change up our colors, so this is the default one. We can select a different color palette or choose our own. Let's select this yellow one. Ah, it's actually <laughs> painful to look at. 
this orange one. Okay, that's much better, much, much more lively, much easier on the eyes. And of course, you can change up the colors to your own using hex codes, and we can also change up our fonts from here. But I'm fine with those fonts. Let's go ahead and figure out how to make this a much more optimized one page site. And um, these socials, again, you can just uh, choose which socials and which, which ones you want to add. But that's up to you. We'll just keep this on right for now. Uh, click on publish and we can go to our website once it's done um, loading. Okay, it should be finished. And let's refresh and you can see that it's completely different. Now let's go ahead and customize this to our liking. Let's click on edit page. And really, you only need to worry about edit page for your one page site, because all of your changes are going to be reflected on your one page, your home page. Um, what you have to worry about on the customizer, basically, this is going to be your um, uh, options over here and our layout and spacing. But that's the beauty of having a one page site is that it's very simple to use and customize. Okay, so let's get started by changing things up. Since everything's already laid out, you just have to click on them and replace them with things of our own, our own uh, resources. I'll click on this and you'll see, there we go. Hey. Okay, and website. And then we can just keep this here. Or we can go ahead and change these up to point us to anchors, right? So we have education experience over here. We have latest projects and we have services. So let's go ahead and change this to our latest example sites. Okay, and then we'll just pretend that these are example sites. And then we can see um, education and experience. Um, let's go ahead and change this to Let's go ahead and change this to um, topics we cover. Oh, let's say we've covered so far. And then over here we can see membership. Okay, and we'll call this, um, we'll call this an HTML anchor for that. And let's say, okay, now we can change these into buttons if we wanted to. So let's see, um, uh, of example sites and we'll get back to you and we'll fill this out real quick okay and we've dragged and drop a button over here and we can just copy what we've written over here and and paste it onto here and we can make it ghost or let's go ahead and change the colors up to make more visible. There you go. Dozens of examples and styles, typography. We can change up our text here and then users will know that this is a button. We can delete our text here and these turn into, this turns into a button. Now we want to make this link to go down over there to our examples. 
So let's change up the link to um, what was it over here? Example sites. Let's look for its our latest example sites. And let's this let's click on this and put hashtag that. And if we click on this, it should work. Now let's test that real quick. Uh, preview in a new tab. And it should give us a preview. And if we clicked on it, it takes us to our example sites. So we'll continue to do this for the other ones and we'll get back to you. Okay. And as you can see, we can put this, you can go ahead and change up our count ups over here. 20 plus, hundreds of topics. This one we can. Make it a bit smaller. I'll just make it nine, I suppose. More, more attractive, more enticing. And let's go ahead and go over to our topics here. And let's look for it's an uh, anchor. Okay, there you can see. And I can click on this and go on the link and edit the link to be hashtag whatever that one was oops hashtag paste and then enter and then that should take us there and let's go to the member perks over here let's say membership perks and copy that anchor and edit it on this one hashtag membership bricks hit enter and that should save it and of course you can edit all of these so um let's say ux design ui design membership perks exclusive let's say for art purposes Let's say for our purposes, we want to put this as exclusive um, video access, right? And you can just type and change all of these as you please. But there's a bunch here, so we won't bore you with that. And you can always delete things. So for for this whole um, area over here, this whole group. We can just go ahead and change things, the, these icons. We can just delete things as we please. And you can see it just turns blank. And like with any website, you can add and subtract um, whatever you want. So the key thing to having a good one page site is its ease of access, its navigability. Naviga na navigability? Navigatability. The ease of being able to scroll down with just click with just a press of a button, and that's where the anchors come into play. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on save, and we should be able to view our website and see how it looks like and how it runs as a one-page site. All right, so let's just refresh it just so you can see that we have our um, count-up animations over here, and we can scroll down and we can see everything still works. And we can click on, well, dozens of example sites. Looks like the button takes us there. We can see hundreds of topics, and it takes us over to our topics. And over here, membership perks. Wow, here are our membership perks. And then again, we can scroll down, and then we have a very compelling um, contact area, information area here, and you can change that up. And we have our footer down here. So there's a very simple and brief overview of how to be able to make a one page site using uh, Bloxy starter sites and converting it for our own use to make a pretty decent one page website. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to our channel as it really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. Show this kind of video to other nerds like us. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.